This is In the Studio with Rachel Chisholm and with me in the studio today is one of Australia's country music darlings. She is a 21 Golden Guitar Award winner for Australian country music as well as a ARIA Award winner. I am of course talking about the lovely Sarah Stora. Thanks for having me. Is this your first time back to the Territory after leaving about five years ago? Yeah, it's, well, it's not my first. I was here uh, not so long ago. Yeah. Earlier this year, last year, last year, sorry. Um, And I had um, an event on in Catherine. So I sort of flew past Darwin and get to Catherine to get back to get back home and this time I'm taking some time out and hanging out in Darwin. What's different about coming to the Territory and doing tours to being uh, around the country? Yeah, uh, oh, it just feels like because I've spent so much time here, um, you know, many years ago teaching out at Kalkaringi and, and a year in Catherine as well. So I was there about five years. So it was, sort of became my home uh, before music was a part of my life. Even though I was writing songs, I wasn't I was, you know, um, I was a school teacher. And then I went off and did my music and I came back and lived in Darwin for about seven years because I found my husband yeah. here in Darwin. So it's actually been a um, home for me for a certain time of my life. And so coming back is special. Um, it's any place you've spent some time in. Um, you create relationships with people and you sort of, um, you know, you get to know the country and so it's nice that I'm not just, you know, shooting through like, you know, normally when you're on tour, you go into a town and you rock in that day, you do sound check, you do the gig, you got to get going by 7 o'clock in the morning and you just miss... Seeing a town. Seeing things, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's talk about your time in the Territory. Good, humble beginnings, a teacher. Now, you started out... You're originally from Victoria? Yeah. 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 And yeah. you did your study and education in Victoria, then you went up to Mount Isa, is that right? Camerwell. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. So that's close just enough. Yeah, yeah, close enough. And then you came to the Territory. Yeah. So what was it like, that exchange coming from big cities like Melbourne to, to Catherine? Yeah. yeah, it was eye-opening. Yeah. It was awesome. I just um, had this... Um, um, it, during high school, I thought all I want to do is become a preschool teacher, a primary teacher, and go and teach out in remote Australia and teach Indigenous kids. And I got through uni, and um, I remember in my last year of uni, I was sitting around some uh, mentors and people from the university saying, "So we're we're really concerned, you know. Um, we think you you need to do a little bit more prac and and come back." And and I said to these um, tutors, please. I said, if the city is not for me, I don't think I can. I don't think I can be in the city for one more year. I'm really struggling. All I want to do is go and teach out in remote Australia. And I said, please, you know, I can't do any more prat. And they went, oh, oh, all right, all right. Well, and basically let me go. So, so grateful because maybe if I had had to go back, I wouldn't have made it through my teaching. So just yeah. yeah so I got as far as. Camel wheel. Yeah. And I was working at the Shell Road House and the lady there said, don't think you're working as a, you know, cooking burgers for the rest of your life because I loved it there. I loved the characters and the people and said, come on, you put in an application in for teaching in the Territory. Yeah. And that's where I was offered a job at Calcarin and I went, yeah, great, okay, here's my chance to do what I've talked about for a while and um, it was just wonderful. It... Um, it's a, an experience I'll treasure for my life and it's an ex, and it's something I'm really proud of that I went, you know what, I'm going to do something that's pretty, you know, for me going out in the middle of nowhere mm. teaching mm. because I was really worried about whether I was going to be a good teacher or not. You know, you got all these worries first year out, mm. what am I going to do? Um, but it was wonderful. It was just, I just loved every moment of it. What made you want to work with uh Aboriginal people or go to the communities at such a young age just going I don't know I've always had a bit of a connection I think I don't know like um I grew up in Robinvale there was a quite a big Indigenous population there so I grew up with you know Aboriginal people as my friends I go to school with them so it, it was um you know and they had their um 
cultures and, and language and things going on there. Mm. Um, so I guess I wasn't frightened in a sense to it being out of my comfort zone and being in another culture yeah. and being so far away. I grew up on a farm, so it was, you know, it wasn't remote. Yeah. It was remote Victoria yeah. in the Mallee, right <laughs> up northwest of Victoria. But I don't know, it didn't scare me that, that I just wanted to do it. And, and then when I got to, I wrote my first song in Camelwell. So then by the time I got to Kalkringi, here's this place with so many wonderful things, with beautiful colours in the, you know, the, the country. Yeah. The characters, yeah. the kids, the stations, the rodeos, the uniqueness of what the territory gives. So I had this like rich sort of um, environment to start writing about my own life, you know, my songs. Yeah. So I can't imagine, I just feel really grateful that I ended up there because I think it was a really beautiful sort of canvas for me to, to practice my writing on, yeah. like to practice, because that's all I was doing. I didn't know I was, it was like stringing words together and, oh, that sounds all right. That line's a bit dodgy, but that'll do. That's yeah. how I was, yeah. And uh, oh, wow. through the years I've, I've, you know, I guess I know now, um, well, I'm, I class myself as, back then I was an amateur, and now I said, well, I'm a professional musician now, so every line matters. I'm not so she'll be right, mate, yeah. you know. And every line matters, but what a place to start a songwriting career in. Yeah. Beautiful. That's amazing. That's an absolutely beautiful journey to Thank become you. a songwriter. Oh my God. Now, you, uh, your first song was Buffalo Bill, and yes. you wrote that in, you said it before. In Camel Wheel. Oh, yeah. yeah, an, old, and, an and old shooter out the back. Yeah. Yeah. And um, that got into the top. Buffalo hundred. shooter, not human shooter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that got into the top 10 of the Aria Chunks country music. How did you feel like you were in the middle of Queensland or in the middle of Northern Australia? I was just like, what? <laughs> it was wonderful. I remember all those things when it happens to you for the first time, as everyone in experiences something for the first time. It's, yeah, you just sort of go, what, me? This is fantastic. I remember hearing one of my songs on radio for the first time. It was on the middle of the Sydney Harbour Bridge and I was in a taxi and he must just had it on a radio station and on comes What's So Good. And today I'd probably sit back and go, oh, you know, just be quiet, Sarah. But then I was like tapping him on the shoulder. I was like, hey, that's me, that's me on the radio. And he's like, hey, I said, that's me. I was so, it's like, you know, I was so overwhelmed because yeah. when it happens to you for the first time, it's a cool thing. The Arias, I, so I've made seven albums, but six sort of work albums. There's a best of in there. Yeah. And um, each of those albums got into um, the Arias for a nomination, but I never ever wouldn't come through with the guilt goods. You yeah. know, I had to, I was, you know, I, I didn't know how to get my hands on one, letting the, their tyres down the car park didn't work, anything. Um, bribing the judges didn't no. pay off. But finally with my previous album, Silos, I won um, an ARIA, which I'm really, really proud of because it's, I know it's just, it's you know, it's just an award, but to me it was like, you know, it's a, there's not too many of them floating around I've got one so I sort of felt proud of myself to keep going and not being discouraged by you, you know things like that you can't be no. otherwise you get all bitter and twisted and all messed up if yeah. you're worrying about all that or you know where you are on charts and all of that it's got to it's got to come back to the music yeah. and making sure you write a really good song yeah well you wrote a couple of good ones on that one. <laughs> oh, thank you <laughs> thanks and uh, I've got to say, I love the song that you did with Kev Carmody in the compilation album, The, the Kids you. of uh, Children, Children of Gringy. And the film yeah. clip is Isn't it gorgeous. beautiful? Those kids and their smiles, they're like, yeah, bring the camera my way. It was really, really special. And I went back years after um, I'd been there. So all these kids, even though it looked like they were the kids I taught, they were all kids of the 
kids. I taught, and I felt really old, <laughs> like a grandma. Yeah. And I was down at the, a little social um, club there. And I went to the social club one night to just be social. And there was one one of the kids I was teaching, and a beer. And I sort of went, hey, put that. And then I went, oh, yeah, yeah, you are allowed to drink now. And then I felt even older. <laughs> <laughs> Did they still call you Miss Sarah or? Oh, you know, it's still the same. Yes, yeah, yeah. some, are, some are, are very confident, but a lot of them so it's still so shy, you know, that yeah. shyness and they look at you but they smile or, you know, and, yeah, it's pretty wonderful. And And I don't know, it probably still happens to some extent. I'm sure they remember because you get given a skin name. Yeah, out there. have you got one? Yeah, oh. I was Nungala. And, you know, they stick to sort of like the rules of who can speak to me and who can't because yeah. it's going on skin names, you know. It's, I just found all that fascinating. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Wonderful to be a part of to learn that because otherwise I wouldn't know all that. Yeah. And, you know, there you go. It, it's it's sad that, you know, oh, well, I, I mean, maybe they do touch on it in schools, but I find that it's just all the fascinating, wonderful stuff that unless I lived there and got to... To see it firsthand, I wouldn't know about it. I'd just go, oh, really? Is that how it all works? You yeah. know. So now you were back in the territory uh, to do a tour, the Rain Dance tour, and and to promote the album Rain Dance. What inspired you to write this album? Because I was looking at some of the songs. I mean, they're personal, they're very inspirational, and some of them are really controversial mm-hmm. in the subject. So, what inspired you? Uh, it's just. I get ex- uh, inspired by um, just life and there's lots of things that move me but some things in particular I feel, you know, that's that I, I want to sing that or, or talk about that through my music, through song. Um, so, yeah, there's a combination. And, you know, I, I guess maybe because when you get older you don't play the safe game so much, you get a little bit more if you've got something you believe in it's not as um, um, confronting to, to speak about it um, and that just comes with maturity. I still get really nervous about speaking about um, some things and because and I'm not a very confident person but, you know, quite shy and with song you, 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 I find it a lot easier to say what I want to say in my music yeah. and I can sing it and then... But if I had to say it, it's a bit harder for me So because music is, yeah, it's just that's one of the the great things about music for me and why I find it so wonderful. Yeah. I feel so lucky that I can string a few lines together and do that. Um, so, yeah, they're just a mix of um, that kind of stuff, me being a little bit brave and speaking about some, some issues that concern me, but as well as write about my own, um, my children and... And, and happy songs like Rain Dance about, you know, um, we all finding our own ground and making up a rain dance and maybe that'll bring the rain. Just about issues going on and, yeah. yeah. Just making people more aware. Yeah. Which is great. Can't talk about Rain Dance. I've read a little bit. You saw a Facebook post yeah. and you just felt inspired to write it. Little farming family were doing a rain dance in a dry riverbed there out of Coonamble. I always Castle Ray, I think Castle Ray River, dry, and there they're kicking up dirt. And they've got the little ones and the kids, and they're all laughing. And I just thought it was really beautiful because yeah. it was like I know that behind the scenes, back in their office, looking at their books, yeah, there'd be no smiles, it'd be really stressful. But them to take a bit of just take away the worries. And do your own day dance and make their kids feel happy and safe, you know, yeah. kind of thing. I know that sounds a bit funny, but I just, oh, well, I, I'll write a rain dance song for everyone. Yeah. So it sort of says, can you try a rain dance? Whoever you are out there, find your place because you could be the one yeah. with the moves that has that special move that brings the rain. Yeah, it's beautiful, and it's it's hard. Well, it, at the moment with Australian farmers and people living out remote, it's hard to live, and I imagine it is quite stressful to have that moment of laughter. Yeah, means the world. Lighten the load. It was good. So hopefully everyone's sort of 
had a bit of a dance somewhere. It's great fun now doing that in the shows because people, I don't get many dancers at my shows, right? <laughs> yeah. And now. And now rain dance. <laughs> they will fly up. And I've seen some fantastic moves. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. Did you um, <laughs> record any for the music video of people getting up and dancing or nothing? No, no. no. <laughs> um, actually, I was just out at Burktown and I did, um, I was part of the Gulf um, Frontier Festival mm. and uh, they were filming there and then and Alex Dumaji made them all get up, all these people get up and dance. He said, we're going to film this and we're going to get some. So there are, there are some dancers being caught on camera. Oh, uh, yeah. But I did do a clip for that and we just um, we, we went out to Henty out in um, New South Wales, just a little regional town that needed water, like a lot of towns, like most towns, yeah. and, uh, you know, sort of made the brought in the community, used the butcher and the, and the baker and the fireman and um, we couldn't get the policeman. Yeah. Uh, he was busy. But, uh, and it was really cool because we used the community and... Um, and and the day of release of the video, it poured in Henty, and they were just like, "Whoa!" <laughs> I just I timed it well. It was just <laughs> luck. It was luck. Okay, this is Rain Dance, and it's off my current album called Rain Dance. <laughs> It's the talk of the town, it's a bird on the wire There's no rain about We're doing this and we're doing that Helping our farmers out But what about a good old ritual That's been round since time knows when So grab your old felt hat, a feather and a map And find your dancing ground you could have that special move, oh, you could be the one That puts the dust back in its place, oh, that covers up the sun Oh, you could have that move inside So loosen up your pants, oh, don't hold back Let's rain dance it's the talk of the town, there's no letting up to find your dancing ground. It could be on the back of the ute or in the main street in your hometown. Like that one. Or it could be on top of Storus Hill with a couple under your belt. Or an old green swag or a dry damn bed Just you or with someone else You could have that special move Oh, you could be the one That puts the dust back in its place So oh, that covers up the sun Oh, you could have that move inside So loosen up your pants Oh, don't hold back, let's rain dance Let's dance at the moon, let's dance at the stars From Booyah to Broken Hill Shake and go from way down low Tip the moon upside down as well Pull the clouds from the east and west oh, Pull them from the north and south Yeah, hear the froggies croak As they dance and soak Let's fill those rain tanks up So the covers up the sun Oh, you could have that move inside So loosen up your pants Oh, don't hold back Let's rain dance No, don't hold back Let's rain dance No, don't hold back
Now, I saw on the album that uh, you worked with your brother Greg again. What's that like? You've collaborated on a few together. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. what's it like working with your sibling? Oh, it's awesome because we do a lot of writing together, so it's easy if if I'm writing, we're not going to offend each other if it's heading the wrong track yeah. or oh, I don't really, you know, you can sort of say it mm. without, you know, but if you're writing with someone else, like that's no good. Yeah. And then you're like, well, I'm not going to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> and they're probably thinking that about me too. Yeah. Like, well, that was a really horrible line. <laughs> but, um, no, with Greg it's great. And it's uh, I take Greg out on the road all the time now. We do it. So he's a farmer out at Warren. Mm. And uh, they haven't put a crop in this year. They didn't put one in last year. So he's got a lot of time on his hands, yeah. Greg. And um, I said, come on, come out on the road and be a muse. There's no money in... Um, being a farmer, there's no money in being a muso either. So, you know, don't get your hopes up, Greg, yeah. that you're going to make a stack of money. Yeah. But, no, it's um, it's great. Yeah, it's just good having um, – and there's something special, I think, vocally when you're singing because you've got similar tones yeah. and it, can, it sounds nice and it doesn't always sound nice with other certain singers. It's just if your tones line up can be really – really nice and um so we sung a song um called how sweet the voice on this hour so i do a duet with him on every album and we did we we wrote um a song called how sweet the voice yeah. and that's on the current album yeah you know throughout your time of making music and touring you've worked with or sung with uh, john williams lee Kernigan, gina jeffries becky cole and ruby hunter uh, on this album you got to sing along with the men at work leading man colin hay how was that oh it was wonderful on so many levels it was the biggest high i have ever had it's like um so i just threw it out there and asked um, if he, oh, like, because I, when I heard that song, it's one of his songs called Next Year People. Yeah. When I heard, I kept, I couldn't get any further on the album, on his album. I kept repeat, repeat, <laughs> repeat. It just was so, it's one of those songs that grabs you. Yeah. So I thought, well, I'm going to record that. And, um, and then I went, you know what? I'm going to see if he'll do a duet. And so I crossed my fingers. He said yes. Um, I recorded the song, put down my vocals, and then a little while later when he was in Melbourne at the time, I flew to Melbourne, he put his vocal down mm. and I got to meet him and it was wonderful. And, yeah, just coming home in the car, got the first edit come through with his vocal, I was driving home and it went ding, the phone ding. And I had a listen to that first edit and my producer going, what do you think? I was just like, I was floating up in the <laughs> sky going, life is good. <laughs> I would have been crying, to be honest. Oh, oh. It was really wonderful. Yeah, oh, great. Oh. And it's the – look, I hate to say it, but it's the best song on the album. <laughs> Damn you, Colin, because it is just fantastic and it's been produced so well and it's just a great song. So, Oh, good. My favourite song of his is Overkill. Do you Overkill. Have a yeah. Oh, Land Down Under. I know it's been played to death, but oh, just, yeah. It's one of those songs. Yeah. Well, thank you again, Sarah, for coming in and Thanks, Rachel. being here today. Thanks and for having me. No, it was lovely to have you to share your story and talk about Rain Dance, your new album. Thank you. Uh, this song is called My Little Men and it's about my four boys, um, Harry, Tom, Bill and Joe. Harry, my boy in blue Sometimes we're tough on you A firm shake with your right Always look them in the eye And yep, you're going to school And Tom you're so much like me A good couch, a good cup of tea The cattle can wait and so can the gate And when are we moving to Sydney? You're all so honest You 
make me laugh again Look out for each other and love your mother Who loves her little men Billy, you're banned for life You and that motorbike That job's illegal, my evil can evil With a pocket full of keys and knives We've all got one, haven't we? <laughs> and last, our little Joe not so little is he though Oh, he's ready for rugby Oh, he's playing rugby Even if the coach says no Oh, you're all so honest You make me cry again Look out for each other And love your mother who loves her little man Okay, the serious bit now Sometimes I could sell you all On eBay or Gumtree or buy Swap and sell But you know that I'm joking No one could afford you as well and when I think about all the heartache I go through if I lost you all the clouds will come over I cry me a river I drown in my teardrops my life would be over if I lost them my little man, my little man.